Keynote speaker, author, and marketing executive. John's career in the marketing and public relations industry stretches back to 1973 when he was named public relations director at Assumption College in Worcester, Massachusetts. He has experience in radio, TV, and social media. If he looks familiar, he is the founding executive producer and co-host of Simply Living, one of the top-rated shows on ABC and Fox Network's affiliates in Springfield. DePietro has been a featured speaker at many international media conventions and is the author of You Don't Have to Be Perfect to Be Great, which tells of his work with superstars of sports and entertainment, including the work of Kenny Rogers, Neil Diamond, Garth Brooks, as well as wrestlers from the WWF and even the clowns from The Greatest Show on Earth. Please give a warm welcome to Mr. John DePietro. Thank you, you may be seated. <laughs> I gotta tell you one thing. Tonight is the closest I've ever been to a valedictory address. Only through placement on the program. Not too long ago I was talking, I was at Assumption College and Dennis House from uh, WFSB, the news anchor, was the speaker. And Dennis said, you know, when I was in college, I would not qualify to be in the audience of an honors convocation, and he kind of said that he was amazed that he was ever picked to be the speaker, but anyway, Dennis is a great guy. And uh, it looks like there's a lot more purple up there than white, doesn't it? Well, I, I feel like I'm at Holy Cross in Worcester. <laughs> Nevertheless, what I want to do is spend the next 45 minutes talking to you about a few success tips that, uh, and uh, we have a PowerPoint, so if you bring the screen down and darken the lights and turn the air conditioning off. <laughs> By the way, a uh, special thanks to the uh, Board of Education people here that put air conditioning in the budget for this building, right folks? <laughs> I want to talk to you briefly about a few tips that I found, actually traits from successful people that I've had the opportunity to work with over the years. And they have several, but I'm just going to uh, get into a few of them tonight. The number one trait that I've found with people that have been successful in business, in politics, in the world of education, in the world of entertainment, is persistence. Nothing in the world takes the place of persistence. Look at the Wright brothers. How many mistakes did they make? Their first flights were 7 seconds, 9 seconds, and 12 seconds long. Their fourth flight was 59 seconds long. What if they quit after three? The fact that we're virtually in the uh, approach zone to Bradley Airport kind of adds special significance to that in this area. If they had uh, no airplanes, a lot of you, I mean, you'd have to drive to Disney World every year. But nevertheless, I want the graduates, and I had an opportunity to come to one of the classes earlier this year, and I found 10 words, 20 letters, that if you put these into play, you can become very successful, and it kind of um, talks about persistence, and here they are. If it is to be, anybody remember the others? It is up to me, which means you need to be responsible. Today on Facebook at seven o'clock this morning, because we have so much time to plan for this, I went out on my Facebook crowd and I asked for some tips to speak to you folks tonight and especially to the graduates. And the number one theme that came back was accepting responsibility. See, up until this time in your life, you've been on the receiving end of a lot of advice, of a lot of money, of a lot of clothing, a lot of, you know, everything from parents and friends and family. It's now time to go from the receiving end to the giving end. So with that, you need to know that during the time that you strive to be successful, you will make many, many failures along the way. The fact is, every October when the Major League Baseball season ends, there are two people that win the batting championship. And from the audience, what is the percentage that they bat to win the championship? 330. About 330, okay? Which means, out of 10 times to the plate, they've failed seven times, but they've still become a champion. So you are going to be in a situation where you'll fail. So what? It's not how many times you fall down, it's how many times you get up. Get up. Okay. Point number two, ignore the critics. Forget the people that tell you that you can't do it. Some of them might be in your own family. Some of them might be sitting next to you. Prove that guidance counselor wrong. 
okay? But forget the fact that somebody hasn't done what you want to do. They thought Bill Gates was crazy. They thought the Wright brothers were crazy. They thought Thomas Edison was crazy. How many mistakes did he, no light bulbs? We're here in a dark room, okay? Regarding getting rid of the critics, turn off the television more often. Keep in mind one thing, that all of the news, the alleged news that you see on TV, is really delivered by critics. It's not delivered by news people anymore. It's a total different revolution as to the way we get our news. Nobody turns on the TV. You all get, how many of you got cell phones on right now? Don't raise it, it's probably illegal to have them, right? Okay. But the fact is, the stuff that you see on TV, the stuff that you see on MTV, 16 and Pregnant, shows like that that are forced down your throats thinking that that is the way to live. Ignore the critics, ignore the media, stay away from stats. And keep in mind one thing, if you've got an idea and you tell somebody about it and they say you're crazy, say thank you very much. Because everybody who's done something that's never been done before has been called crazy. Point number three, respect everyone, fear no one. The excuse about, I'm from a small town, doesn't fly. Because those that come from big cities say, we were from a big city, we didn't know anybody. Here, you guys have probably known each other from K through right now, okay? The fact is, you've got the best opportunity for success than ever before. The technology that's out there now allows you to do some crazy things, some crazy good things. In fact, that video that you all put together, I, I think the, people don't realize the amount of editing that, who, who of you edited that? Was that you guys? That, some of you guys did all that stuff, okay. That's a ton of work, but what did people use during that, during a lot of time during that video, the, the um, smartphone, okay. So the fact is, you've got the technology on your side, make it work, if they say you're crazy, that's fine too. Take 10 words and change them around in your life. It's not if it is to be, it, it is up to me. That's a good one, but take these five words and rip them from your vocabulary forever. What's in it for me? How many people have that attitude? You see everybody today, well, what's in it for me? You work with people like that, okay? You don't wanna be around those people. Replace those 10 words with, how can I help you? Okay, last point, do more. Wow, that's pretty, pro pretty profound, Mr. Petro, do more, okay? When you go to a job, don't be what most of your peers are. They show up late, they complain, they don't show up at all, and don't call. I was talking to people at, a manager at McDonald's today, and he said, that's exactly what we deal with all the time, with with high school kids, okay? When I say do more, I mean get there early. Help others. Have the guts to say to the boss, is there anything else you need me to do before I leave? And immediately upon regaining consciousness, that <laughs> boss will say to you, wow, you are a leader, okay? Leaders just, leaders, you know what? A few years ago, somebody did a study of, on the, the PGA Tour, what the winning margin was for the, for the FedEx Cup champion. It was only like half a stroke. Gold medals in the Olympics are not won by miles. Look at that Michael Phelps guy who won all those, Olymp those medals a few years ago. It's, it's just by the slightest of margins, but it's doing more. Do something for someone else with no expectation of return. Do it because it's good to do. Do it to help someone else, and I will guarantee you it's proven over and over and over again. Do something for someone else with no expectation of return, and the return that you get will be much greater than what you put into it. So, you are crusaders. Be ready, be smart, be nice. The world is waiting for you.